Welcome back to Trillion News. This is Saturday afternoon, February 11th of 2017. More from Red State Watcher. The war grows between Trump and retail chain stores. Look who's dropping items now. Please share and comment if you think there are political motives behind retailers dropping Trump bans. Sears and Kmart are joining the list of retailers to drop Trump brands. The retailer is dropping over 30 Trump home items from their website. Reuters.com reports, major U.S. retailers Sears and Kmart this week removed 31 Trump home items from their online product offerings to focus on more profitable items, a spokesman said on Saturday. As part of the company's initiative to optimize its online product assortment, we constantly refine that assortment to focus on our most profitable items, spokesman Brian Hanover said in a statement. Remember the name, Brian Hanover. Amid that streaming effort, 31 Trump home items were among the items removed online this week. He said adding those items can be found through a third party vendor without providing additional information about the products. Brian Hanover. He's gonna start coming under fire now because anyone who comes against Trump ends up getting the blunt of 60 million people. And that's not something you want barking on your back door. Especially when Trump's actually pulling through on his promises. You don't go mocking a guy who does that. His supporters are really going to let them have it. I would not be surprised, uh, judging on what I've seen so far, that if Sears and Kmart stocks dropped this evening on the stock index, it wouldn't surprise me at all. Trump says one tweet about one thing. Stocks either raise or go down. It's crazy. People who say we're not connected to the world uh, are sadly mistaken. Look what happened to the British Parliament Speaker after blocking President Trump. The British Speaker of the House of Commons is now fighting to keep his job after blocking President Trump from addressing Parliament. Good. Dailycaller.com reported, James Dudridge has tabled the motion to put pressure on Burkow, who accused Trump of racism and sexism. Well, that's it. Anytime your argument has holes in it, just throw racism and sexism at anybody, and they're, they'll typically shut up. Monday, the speaker role is non-political, and Dudridge said Burkow clearly overstepped the mark with his comments. Related Trump, not welcome in the UK Parliament, speaker says. I've done this because Speaker Barkow for a long time has been overstepping the mark and with his comments on the state visit of Trump, he clearly expressed views, Dudridge told BBC. That is not the role of the Speaker and it is impossible for him to chair debates as Speaker adjudicating on things he has expressed a view on. Up to 150 Conservative MPs are ready to back the motion, according to the Telegraph. Burkow is one of three officials who much approve invitations to speak in Westminster Hall. Burkow further urged Prime Minister to retract Trump's invitation to the UK altogether. So this is what happens when someone comes in to attempt to save the West. The leaders of the Western countries despise that person. It's like Europe and the West are going downhill in a downward spiral. Here comes a man that says, I can fix this and we can save everything. Well, we don't want to be saved. It's like, it's so confusing to try and understand. It's almost like a brain disease. Like if you don't have the disease of wanting death to come to the place you live, then uh, you can't understand someone with it. Uh... A lot of people say liberalism is actually a brain disorder, and judging on what I've seen with it flirting with communist ideology, I'm starting to believe that that is true. The war grows between Trump and retail chain stores. I already did that. Breaking. Trump just made oil great again. Look what he did. The Bureau of Land Management, also known as the BLM, that's funny, has the same lingo is Black Lives Matter, unfortunately, made its largest lease sale in four years, marking the start of President Donald Trump's plans to expand drilling on federal lands. 
BLM sold drilling rates off on 270 parcels of public land for $129.3 million. Bids ranged from $2 per acre to $16,500 per acre. The land sold was mostly located in Wyoming, about half of which directly controlled by the federal government. In the first lease sale under the Trump administration, the BML had its biggest sale in the past four years. Utah Republican Rob yeah, Rob Bishop, chairman of the House Committee on Natural Resources, told the Daily Caller News Foundation, Today's successful sale, in part, is a recognition that the BLM, under new leadership, will prioritize fulfilling its statutory mandate of multiple-use land management and the holding of quarterly lease sales, and the industry is responding accordingly. Well... The more jobs, the better. I mean, even that wall and the pipeline alone should put enough people back to work that, uh, you know, there'll be opportunity to succeed in life should you choose to accept it. Mexican president holds photo op with deported illegals after Trump's order and it backfired. Look at them. They're all pissed, eh? I was in America illegally and they kicked me out. <laughs> President of Mexico, in an attempt to make himself look good, took a photo op with a number of deported immigrants. He was extremely embarrassed, however, when the immigrants said they couldn't wait to return to the U.S. <laughs> That's awesome, because Mexico is such a good place, right? From what I understand, the cartels run the entire country, and they pile up cop, dead cops in the street. And I don't want cops to get shot, but that's just what happens. From what I understand, cartels piles, those, piles them up in the street. Good luck fighting that, not without the military. Right-wing news reported Mexican President Enrique Pena Nieto attempted to make himself look better than Donald Trump, which is obviously impossible, when he headed to the Mexico City airport to greet 135 of his citizens that had been deported from the United States. They didn't want to hear his pandering, however, and admitted they are going to be turning to the, the United States at first opportunity from the Federalist Papers Project. Mexican President Enrique Peno Nieto attempted to make... Nieto went to Mexico City's airport to remind them that they always have a home in Mexico, saying, You are not alone. Do not feel abandoned. The doors to this, your house, will always be open. Except they don't want your garbage country, failed state country. Look, you're all just nice, and you'd let cartels run your entire country. This Mexican president's a disgrace. And I bet, I'm not positive, but if I had to guess, I'm sure his popularity amongst his own people in Mexico is probably not so good. 